right, here we are. Uh, what's this chivalrying business? Well, I don't know. I, I was too young to get in on any chivalrying, but I heard lots of stories about Gladys and Millard out chivalrying other people. In fact, it's probably the first time they ever saw this house was because they came here to chivalry somebody, right? What did so it, who was uh, it? It was different than I it thought maybe it was, was the first this house. Time. What does what does chivalrying mean? Well, you dress up, uh, you dress up like ma you know what a masquerade is, or well, you know, you use a mask and yeah. different clothing. Who would do it? Maybe it was a girl at the time. I forget. So you try to disguise yourself. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And was this around Christmas time? Yeah, yeah. Uh, between Christmas and New Year. So you just go around and chivalry friends. Well, you would know that the. the this isn't chivalrying. This is hula booking music. Oh, so that's Chivering. what you were actually doing. Chivalrying is done okay. after that's after marriage. Oh, that's, okay. That's okay that's so what were you doing when you came to this house? Uh, well, hula booking. And so what's hula booking? Well, that's just well, that's dressing that. up funny and celebrating at Christmas time. Yeah, yeah. selling celebrating Christmas. So what do you do? You do you bring them some? Good drinks or what? Yeah. Oh, I see. Sometimes. Uh, what? Well, what? Some do you, you know? Kind of you what kind of drinks? What kind of drinks? Yeah. Whatever they had. Well, it wasn't milkshakes. <laughs> <laughs> so they were kind of expecting drinks when they came to mm. a residence. Certainly. That was yeah. it. I don't know. Okay. We didn't get any here. I don't you didn't get any here. Oh no, oh. they were eating supper here when we came. <laughs> so when would that? Have, when when you came to this house, who lived here then? Little and her husband? Yeah. yeah. And when would that have been? It's a long, long time ago. Well, when was this house built? Do you know? In 1950. 1950. So it was probably shortly yeah, after that? It was in the 50s, yeah. It was in the 50s. And so you came here and they were eating supper? Yeah, she was entertaining. And then what happened? Oh. <laughs> then what happened? Well, I don't know, we went some other place, but I, I remember we ended up at Millard Torkelson's. But did Mrs. Bre Brecky ask you in then or anything? Oh, nobody asked us in, we walked in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we ended up at our place at the last. Yeah, our place was the last. <laughs> but, so you didn't stay here very long then? No, oh, no. no. Oh, yeah. oh, I see. So, and that was Eulabaking? Yeah. Okay. Did the pastor know you about Eulabaking? <laughs> <laughs> Probably did, but he never went with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, so then when you shivereed, who did you shivereed? Do you remember got, who some of the shivereed. people were? Did you? Yeah. What, so what happened when you were shivereed? Well, where were you? We just came home there. from Iowa. Been, been home a couple of hours. <laughs> did you go to Iowa on your honeymoon? Yeah. yeah. For how many days? Oh, or how many days did it take you to get more. there? <laughs> uh, we, we went to Fargo, stayed in Fargo that night, and we drove to Minneapolis to her aunt. Who was that? No, was? We drove to Fargo. We drove into Anoka. We stayed in Anoka because we weren't sure that we should have trouble with people in Minneapolis. And I remember at the hotel we stayed there, that rope was coiled, and there was our fire escape. <laughs> Oh, really? by the window, but yeah. yeah, big rope like a, you know, like using a hay mow. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh, what floor were you on? Like second floor or something? I suppose second or third. I don't know. It, it what hotel did you stay at? Do you remember? No, that's me. <coughs> <coughs> but we go uh, next morning, uh, we, my man drove after on Street, <laughs> Franklin Street. Oh, I remember so that So didn't uh, something happen with your luggage yeah. on your honeymoon? Yeah. What was that? That was when we stopped at Aunt Helga's. <clears throat> we stayed overnight there. Who was Helga? That was Daddy's sister. And you stayed with her? Yeah. <laughs> and so what happened to your luggage? Well, somebody broke into the car and <clears throat> stole our suitcase. Oh, is that right? They could open the car to the wire, you know. Mm -hmm. She had her wedding dress in there. Did that get stolen? Yeah. Oh, really? So they stole, they stole all your clothes? Really? What we had long, yeah. Now, is that the truth, or is this just a story you've made up over the years? No, it's the truth. 
So did you have to go out shopping yet? Yeah, yeah. we did, but then we found our suitcase. Well, we come home again, yeah. Really? And when I got in that, that penny store there, I said, you can't come back to me. It's right in the store, penny store. Is it, he's yeah. the one that stole it? No, no, no. That's a, that's a bunch of kids mm. that stole it. They were after trinkets uh, and the suitcase. That was all some little things that they, they had to take about in the yard. But, well, where did they find it, Billy? In the alley, a little ways from oh, the I see. place. Oh, there. Oh, I didn't know about that. So then you went to Iowa after Minneapolis? Yes. And what were you doing in Iowa? Oh, visiting. Joel Fenner's, cousins. We had a lot of cousins in Iowa. How long did you stay there then? It's over a week, I think. A week and a half, maybe. Hmm. So then you got home and you were shivereed. So where were you living at Grandpa and Grandma Hovey's we place? We were at his folks, George Ellison was the head Porsche of his shivering. <laughs> and so what did they do? They took me in one car and Dad in the other, went to Park River and we tried to, we tried to, um, I know I was in the car Arnie was driving and then we went in Back alleys and all over. Didn't they go to your folks at Trevor Yeah, it was Mom time. and Daddy's anniversary oh, that really? same day we came home. Oh, really? Like 25 years for them. <laughs> oh. So, so they went to Shiver Eat them too? Uh -huh. Did you go there then too? Sure. Oh, we had to. <laughs> so where were they living then? Out in the farm. Oh, or Clemens. Yeah. Hmm. So did Mom have a few bumps then? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> So that was their 25th wedding anniversary? Uh-huh. Hmm. So who were some of the people that were with the Shivereen party? Do you remember? Who were some of the people Irene, that came? Uh, uh, I think Tip and Irene were, weren't they? Could be. Yeah. Arnie and... I can't remember if Arnie was married at that. No, he wasn't. Arnie oh, Orson? Oh, Hobie. Oh, oh, Hobie. Hmm. Any of your sisters and brothers? No, none of my sisters huh? showed up. Hmm. Well. So what, all they, they came shivering and all they did was steal you and take you away? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. They used to go out shivering. I think they shivered in George Ellis three times. Oh, really? <laughs> Different years. If they had nothing to do with it, they'd go to shiver in George. Why would they shiver in George so much? Well, of course, he got a kick out of anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun time, I suppose. Yeah. Uh. So, Dad, you were saying about uh, Mom that she and Alvin, her oldest brother, used to lay somewhere and look through a grate and do what? Or what was it, the story well, about? Mom knows his brother. She was the one who done it. <laughs> <laughs> but she just says she doesn't like telling it. No. They, they were that great and spit, and spit down on the floor and down, <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> where was this taking place, Mom? Out in the farm where we used to live. <clears throat> where <clears throat> Richard Clemens and Levis now. And so you and Alvin would lay upstairs and spit. Through the register. <laughs> the heat, heat register. And the cook stove was directly underneath. I think it was. <laughs> so were they making soup? <laughs> Could be. Who knows? <laughs> Did they used to have parties? Did mom and dad used to have parties at all? Oh. Hmm. I didn't know her at that time. Oh. <laughs> it was small. How about some of the stories of Mant, like at the Mant Hall? Didn't yeah. you used to go to dances there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, how often would Played they have dances? dances up there. <laughs> Along with the orchestra. I can remember Phyllis and I used to go there. They used to have a, a picnic in the summertime, didn't they? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, uh, well, they always wanted entertainers, and we both thought we could sing so well, we, we used to sing. <laughs> No, we didn't. What did you say? Oh, I can't remember. I suppose Jesus loves me. I don't know. At the band. You are my sunshine, probably. I don't know. I remember for in July once, I think. Some of the guys are, that was, yeah. 
later on at night, they were singing in the park. <laughs> Feeling pretty good. It, it meant. Kenny ran a board. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can about a man. Oh. So, Dad, you were saying um, Elvin, though, told Mom something in Norwegian about how she was supposed to behave. What was that? Grein, grein, du så får du det nok. Say that again. Grein, du så får du det nok. And what does that mean? Cry and you'll get it. <laughs> Whatever you <laughs> Did you do it then, Glutz? I suppose I did. I was a good listener, you know. Yeah. So Alvin was the one. Where did he learn that then? Oh, there was lots of Norwegians talking in our days. <clears throat> That's all I talked until I started school. So. I think in our family, <coughs> Sister Luella and I are the only ones that could never speak in Norwegian. Oh, really? Could understand some of it, but I could never speak. Yeah, that's what my spot to learn. I suppose that's why you didn't go with us to Norway. Couldn't talk. There's a lot of Norwegian spoken through. You and Lucy are the only girls. You just stand on the street corner there and listen to some of the men talking. You know, it's kind of interesting for us. So let's go. I didn't mean to get off a mant, but I wanted to catch that saying that Elvin used to say. What else? Didn't you meet at Mant? At um, no, you met in a bar, didn't you? You're not supposed to advertise that. <laughs> well, we're not advertising, and this is just the truth. It's a great story. Oh, oh yeah, I, I didn't. I don't know how you met either. Tell it. Well, that's what we did in the bar, Dan's. Where at? Well, the well. Basil Hotel. Oh, here in Grafton. Yeah. yeah oh, that's, wasn't that's it that's Basil? In the corner that's there. Sort of mm. Uh, that burned down. So who asked who to dance? Well, I don't know. We even danced at that time. We danced. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we danced all the time. She danced more than I did because I, uh, I was a lot playing in the orchestra. Oh, what were you playing? Guitar for uh, short Oh, that's right. What was the name of the band? Uh, I don't know whoever wanted to help us play. To pick up Walter Mimble on the piano. And so, did you kind of get your eyes on him because he was in the band, or what? Oh, I don't know just how that happened. Who had the most interest first? Which <laughs> <laughs> you're getting kind of nosy now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is important information. <laughs> so, did, so you, not, did you know about him? Did you know who he was for a while, quite a while before you ever met him? Alvin. Oh. She thought she who you were who? She thought I was an Alvin. Oh, yeah. Being I wasn't really an orchestra. Oh. So, Millard, what did you say you played in the orchestra? Guitar? Yeah. But you also played accordion, didn't you? Not that much. But, but you did have an accordion, oh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. So, where did you learn to play the guitar? I guess I sent for one to Monkey Ward. And just learned on your own? I'm just courting. Mm -hmm. no, I played at home with my dad, or I'd record the piano. My dad would play the violin. Oh, really? They were all musical, you know, in that time, except yeah. Alice. Oh, yeah, really? nothing else. Was a Did you play the harmonica also, Millard? Oh, really? And the juice harp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, how long had you uh, known each other before you got engaged? Quite a while, I think. Yeah. Maybe a couple of years. Or I don't time. remember. <laughs> Why? Because time goes so fast. <laughs> but you think it was a couple of years, Miller? Oh, yeah. Oh, so. About that, I guess. So, how old were you when you got married? Twenty-three. Oh, really? I was twenty-five. Oh, really? Well, got that was kind of old for back then, wasn't it? I mean, really, didn't people get married like around eighteen or nineteen Probably or something? Get some of them, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so you, through the years, we've heard some people um, that you've referred to who've had some good nicknames. 
Oh yeah, all of them. Kids around Manhattan Nash had nicknames. Just about everybody had nicknames. Like who? Well, like Francis Daly was, uh, you know, Bob. Bob. Mm -hmm. And uh, Quentin was Squint. Yeah. Okay, and then there was one uh, called Rufus, that was Skinny a Skinny or Skin Oberg. Who was Skin that? Oberg, yeah. Skin Oberg. Skin Oberg? So where did he get his name? Well, he was tall and skinny. Tall and skinny. <laughs> and of course, Dirty Dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Who was that? Uh, uh, why was what was the name? Was, yeah. Dirty the Dick? Gordy Hayes was No, his, that was his brother. His brother. How did he get the name Dirty Dick? Well, he fell out of the toilet. I'm not telling him. I'm waiting. Say that again. Fell down the toilet down the dollar waiting. <laughs> and the reason <laughs> somebody he... moved the dollar. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <was> a <laughs> and then of course, brother Wally was yeah, lame brain. Lame brain. <laughs> our brother. Why would he get that name, Eleanor? <laughs> you know Wally. Good name, right? And my nickname was Tootsie. <laughs> and, and where did that come from? I don't know. I have no idea. Took horse names. <laughs> and Dad, didn't you say they called you Millie when you were growing up? Oh, I guess Millie. maybe called a few other things to him. <laughs> <laughs> I have a story about Millard's sister, Elaine. I was just telling Gladys and Millard about this not too long ago, that when I was little and used to go out to their farm, Elaine had me convinced that she had in some sort of an accident, had cut off her tongue, and so her tongue was actually a cow's tongue. <laughs> and I, I say, oh, I don't believe that. Well, and then she'd stick her tongue way out, and it was. She had a real rough tongue, and she said, "Well, look at this. This isn't like yours. This is a cow's tongue." And so I always thought that was the truth. What were some other nicknames or stories like that? Like you had Archie Daly and Rufus. Hmm. Slim. Who else? Slim and who else? I can't think right now. Nicknames. Mm -hmm. Post uh, Walter Postal. Postal. <laughs> <Postal. laughs> he used to be. He, be, he was up around Nash there or Matt, you know. <laughs> he was out at uh, Hank Bunsen and they'd work for Teddy Daly. Walter Bicoulis was his name. Uh, he was, you know, mm -hmm. I think he was out of Russia someplace. One of the problems was there, you know. And they were fencing, but uh, they were digging. You know, Walter was digging. You know. So I don't know how some of this got involved or what they're going to call him. Then they said, you know, folks are going to be angry. They said, let's call him Walter. They stuck with him all the time. <laughs> oh, awesome. oh, how about some of your girlfriends? Didn't they have nicknames? Um, oh, I can't think of any. So we were talking about some nicknames of people. Any other nicknames come to mind? What about some of your sisters or brother? You, either one of you did. Like Eleanor have a nickname? And oh, yeah, it's Ellie. Oh, no, but it wasn't oh, when no. I was little. Did you have a nickname when you I were little? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I was just a sweet little girl. <laughs> what about some, just Eleanor. Mm -hmm. What about some of the other kids? Oh, Phyllis was called, well, David Shoemaker couldn't say Phyllis when he was little, so he called her Ho-Ho. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know that now, well, remember a couple of years ago, a few years ago when David was so sick? Remember when he had a stroke? Yeah. yeah. And uh, Phyllis went up to the hospital to see him, and he was, you know, pretty sick at the time. And Helen said, David, look who's here to see you. Do you know who it is? And he looked at her and he said, Ho Ho. Oh, he hadn't oh. called her that for years, yeah. Something. Yeah, what really happened to David? Uh, was that a seizure of some kind? Or? No, I, it was a stroke. Yeah, it was, it mm -hmm. was a stroke. Mm -hmm. yeah. We were just talking about the last night we were talking about. Yeah. 
David Shoemaker. Right. His mom, Helen, where did she fall in the Orson family? I mean, it was Alvin and then you, and then who was next? Arnie. Arnie. And, and then, then who? Lawrence. Lawrence, and then it was a girl named Luella. She passed away when she was a year old. And then? Then it must be Wally, and then Helen, and then Margie. Lou, and then they had another Luella. Lucy, and Phyllis, and me. She's the baby. Yeah. I'm the oldest, and she's the youngest. That's right. Of the girls. Of the girls. So I had a nickname for Helen once. What was that? That was Tex. Tex. Oh, yeah. Tex. I yeah, didn't know right. that. Tex, yeah. And I don't even remember how. Oh, it started. I, I started it, but you she mean when was, you were really little. No, uh, no, she would come out to the farm and. She, had, uh, she was cutting potatoes out there a couple of years. Yeah, ago. she was <laughs> cutting potatoes, and then I was helping, too. And somehow, you called her. I called her Tex, I and for years that. I called her Tex, and really? now. Lots of times say hi, Tex. You know. Well, I, I don't do it now because she'll say, "Oh, stop that." And I'm gonna call her Tex. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was only hat. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Wasn't it a, you got the name because of a certain hat she wore, like a straw hat? Well, yeah, it could have been. That could be. Like that. It was that outside of the yeah. country. Maybe she had a straw hat like that. Come yeah. on. Didn't Margie have a nickname? Oh, it seems, seems to me I've heard that, did, but I can't think of what it is. Mm. Well, Tex was a little mechanic, too, you know, because when she was cutting potatoes, her and I and Marvin Sandvik, mm -hmm. and then something went wrong with the machine. Jane was working Marvin on. couldn't fix it, and Helen, she crawled under there and she fixed it. You got to be kidding. No, I mean, I'll bet she's never fixed anything since. No. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, Marvin still talks about that Is sometimes. That right? yeah. Oh. yeah, he said she fixed it. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. Well, it's too bad she isn't here to defend herself. <laughs> Sometimes better that way. Yeah. So what about some of the stories? You were telling me that, um, was it Pastor Hellicliff? Where was it? He Was it at confirmation? He brought the boys cigars? Yeah. He brought the boys to what? Uh, he, uh, no, cigarettes. Oh. And the choir. We had a choir out there. Yeah. Uh, there were, this, this is around Christmas time. We're practicing at home, uh, on the home place. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he comes with a carton of cigarettes for each of the boys and a candy box for the girls. Is that right? Yeah. And I suppose he would smoke a cigar himself. Yeah. <laughs> I also had Pastor Hellicliffe for a confirmation class, and we went to North Trinity Church. Yeah. And in the wintertime, it would be when it was really cold and they didn't want to heat the church, we sat in his car. Oh. And he had this big car. And so I always made it a point to sit directly behind him because he'd hold his book way up on the steering wheel and then I could just read from it. <laughs> and then uh, Lloyd Johnson, well, you probably know, know Lloyd Johnson, he was in my class, and Lloyd had had polio, and so Reverend Hallicliffe always felt really sorry for him. And so Lloyd never had to know anything just because he had been sick, so yeah. that was okay. He didn't have to know. <laughs> Uh, out of church, South Trinity, you know, we had uh, the fences around there now, but there used to be wooden fence with two by fours on top, you know. So. And I like that one man, there was a little tree in there, too. But he come with this big bash and he parked right in there, just about up there. And that side he, he pushed against with the fence and a rock in my four in his car. <laughs> he sees it through the fence. Uh, it's kind of comical. <laughs> yeah. And I remember he used to come out and visit Daddy, and they used to sit and tell raunchy stories. They did. <laughs> they did. They did. They did. Oh, mm -hmm. And this was the preacher. That was the preacher. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> well, our preacher told a story yesterday. You know, the only story. Oh, did he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He should have been in church. Yeah. I heard yeah. he had a Viking hat on. <laughs> That's all Didn't right. do any good, though. No. That's for sure. Well, let's 
see. So we've been playing a lot of rummy lately here, and you were saying that uh, that's you used to play games like that and other things before television. What kinds of card games and stuff like that would you play? I would play Smear for one thing. What was that? Rummy, 500 Rummy. West, West was, you know, get together. Pinocchio. What do you remember, Mom? I remember Pearl playing the twist. Remember oh, that board? Yes, <laughs> that's still a popular game. Oh, you know, you have that twister? secret man. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And then you have to put one foot. Yeah. 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 Pearl played that. Oh, I, yeah. I think that came around in the 60s. Oh, I think so. Another yeah. thing you know, with Pearl, and talking about Pearl, I remember the hard time <laughs> dance we had in uh, Matt. I remember. The Pearl uh, had a 100 pound <laughs> potato sack in him. It fit her just right. <laughs> <laughs> Turned it upside down to slip the. So the bottom of the overhead. <laughs> that, that, that was our dress. Oh, <laughs> wasn't that scratchy? Scratchy? I mean, it was scratchy? I mean, it was like burlap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. So Pearl was married to Ivor, and Ivor was your mom's sister, brother. brother. Yeah. yeah. So what other goofy things do you remember about Ivor and Pearl? I, I remember them coming to play cards a lot. They'd drop in and... Ivor and Pearl were always goofy. They loved to have fun. Yeah. They were a lot of fun. Um, I don't really remember, you know. I can remember when I was little and we used to go over to their house and I would just go upstairs and play with Peggy because she always had so many more toys than I did. Well, I remember once when Scott was quite small and we were over to, I suppose it was Mum and I don't know who else, but I know Scott was with big enough to talk, you know, and Pearl had made buns on the way home, oh. Scott said, they were hard. <laughs> <laughs> was Pearl a good cook? Oh, no, she wasn't the best cook or baker, but she was uh, always she, she generous got, with whatever she I had. She won't, she won't hear you now. And she liked to eat. Mm -hmm. We'd been in East Grand Forks once, I were in Pearl and Gladys, and we were in at Whitey's. And uh, we, uh, I guess we had chicken dinner, well, I had, or some bad day. We, uh, I wrapped up, I was a bone, there was a chicken leg or something I had in my pocket. And on the road home, was a, a pearl said, it was, but you come with something if you're still hungry or something. And I brought one that chicken. <laughs> and I gave it to her. She always could come with that. Did she eat that then? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, nothing wrong with that. Oh, Pearl was funny. And as she would eat, she'd just keep on saying, mmm, wasn't that it? Mmm, mmm. And what would she say when uh, the food was ready, when it was time to come and eat? Belly up to the table. Oh, that's right, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, was a big, she was a nurse. And Ivor, as I recall, as he was getting older, he couldn't, or he claimed he couldn't see or hear very well, and yet when Debbie and I would go visit, he would always say he looked, she looked just like his granddaughter. Oh, yeah, really? Karen. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh. So he was seeing yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we'd, we'd go riding with us sometimes and he'd, he'd look out in the field and see certain things. But, uh, you know, we, that we knew he'd seen a little better yeah. then. Mm -hmm. But not quite good enough to be driving. You know. Ivor always used to tell everybody else that I talked a lot. Yeah. He said once, oof, that girl talks. She talks all the time, he said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Margie also said that about me. She said, God, you're nosy. <laughs> because I ask people questions, you know. She said, well, if you want to know something, you have to ask. That's right, you know. Absolutely. I remember you answering me once, well, if you wanted to find out something, you got to ask questions. That's right. <laughs> so what do you remember about Eleanor growing up? You were older than her, I so... I wasn't home much when she was growing up. Where were you? I had to work for a living. Oh. And so who were you working for then? Uh, yeah. yeah. And where was she? Where was she? She lived in Grafton here. She worked out at the uh, state, state school. school. 
And what did you do for her? I did all the housework, cooking, and raised those two boys, took care of them. And that was who? Donnie and Mike. Hagen. So how old were you when you were started working with her? Maybe 11, 12 years old. Hmm. Yeah. And you, I suppose you got paid a lot? Yeah, $20 a week, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Plus board and room. Sure. Plus Inga would sew me a dress once in a while. Hmm. I can tell you stories, a story about me. Mm -hmm. When I was little, because everybody else had keep has always told me this, that when I was just a little baby, well, that's when we lived out on the farm, I guess, because I lived there until I was three years old. And then we moved to Nash. But anyway, the girl said that I would be in the bassinet or whatever, and then Mom would have to go outside to do some work. And so then she'd always tell all the kids, now, don't pick that baby up. And so then they would pick me up right away, of course, and then they'd take turns passing me around to each <laughs> other, and then the minute she'd come in, then I'd go back and <laughs> pass <laughs> it. <laughs> but that's, they'd walk with me then, they'd carry me around. Yeah, yeah, and you left the nest, so were you still? <laughs> Gladys was gone. She was gone. <laughs> yeah. What was your first job, Dad, or were you always on the farm? I guess I was on the farm most of the time. Did you get paid to help on the farm, or was that just expected? That's what we wanted to expect. <laughs> First year we farmed, I know anyway. I think we made fifty dollars that year. Each or together? Together. <laughs> you mean like when you actually took over the farm, or what, or when you? Well, worked? I would, you know, we worked for a dad. Uh huh. Oh. I know. I went to school. I went, the winter went to Parker School of Short Course. I had twenty dollars. I went up there. Both my books. That was it. You had twenty dollars, and you went where? To Short Course at Parker. So what grade were you in? What right I mean, out of high school. Yeah. Okay. Well, out of uh, grade school. I mean, that's my high school education. Six months. <laughs> oh. That's all the longer you went was six months. Yeah. Oh. Well, short. That's what they call the short course. Oh really? You went in November and come home in March. Oh. And so you how old you done through sixth grade, and uh, then went to Park River? No, I went to eighth grade. And then went to the short course in Park River. And mom, what about you? How many grades of school did you go through? Well, I went to eighth grade in one week to high school. One week? You yep. went one door and out I didn't like that. Oh, really? So you just quit? I just quit. Oh. Where was that at? Grafton? Oh, yeah. Because I was staying with Inga. Oh, I see. And she didn't try to make you go back? Or? No. Why didn't you like it? Why didn't you like it? Oh, I don't know. No good Maybe looking. Maybe there was too many kids or something. So, were, but there were there a lot of people then that didn't go to school. Oh though? yeah. Hmm. So they could help out at home or. Well, that's uh, like at home. That's Arnie. When he was back. So I stayed. I stayed home then, and he went. To, he went to high school, and I suppose it really helped him more and more. So that he went into army and. Then, mm -hmm. So Arnie went into the army, but you didn't. Then no, you no, stayed see, home and worked. Uh, the draft was it wasn't. I uh, was the draft higher higher in the sea. We were married in '38, you see, mm -hmm. and uh, the United States didn't get into the war until the '41. And, uh, so, and my number was higher, so being I was married, and uh, you know how we got home. Which is intermission time. Dad, uh, Mom named her brothers and sisters in their order of birth. What about in your family? You were the oldest, right? Right. And then who Ar came next? Arnie. Arnie Hovey. Yeah, he was in, he was in well, 20, 20th of January. In 1915. And then who, Alice was yeah, next? Yeah. And Alice died when? A couple years? Four years, five years ago? I was born in, born in February, but I forget just uh, what year that would be. She was married to your brother, 
uh, Mom and Eleanor's brother Arnie. And then who was after Alice? Roni, I suppose. Or no, I see the board of the 4th of July. And then after her? Marilyn. Marilyn, and that's Marilyn Delling now. And then who? She was born in uh, is that the 11th of November, but Marilyn's for Delling. I think it's just my card. And, uh, memory of it. And, and Elaine was. Now was the, Elaine's part of the tent. And she's getting her, her book out. <laughs> was Elaine the youngest then? Yep. Okay. So it was a smaller family. Here comes Mom with. What do you got there? I got a list of all of us. So why don't you read it? Elvin, it was. Born in April 8, 1914. Gladys, September 4, 15. Arnie, in 17, October 1st. Lawrence, 20, May 19th. Wally, 24, April 6th. Helen, 26, August 30th. Is that the right one? Mm -hmm. Margie, 28, October 13. Lucy, 30, November 27. Phyllis, 33, July 30th. Eleanor is in 35 and August 24. But I haven't got Luella's. Oh, Mama had this. Oh, Luella, the one that died. Yeah, I can't remember. She was between uh, Florence and Wally, evidently. Mm -hmm. Do you have the Hovies on there too, or is that just your yep. family? Go ahead and read you that. You mean Gary and them? No, Dad's brothers and. No, I don't have their. Why don't you read? Yeah, Gary and them. Well, Gary is May twenty sixth, forty one. Wayne is December fifteenth, forty four. Dean twenty December twenty nine, nineteen fifty. Scott in January thirtieth. 1957. Oh, you have a birthday coming up. Yep. Me and FDR. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well. All right, now it's intermission again. Okay, I've got more clothes on. There's a little draft. Oh, there. I see. How about if I sit here then? Could I have a beer then while I show them? So what's going on now? Anyone else? Well, we have. I think we're going to play rummy. I'll get the wine. Would you like a wine? No, I'm going to have a beer right now. Debbie, what are you going to get? I'm going to get some red wine. Help me play rummy better and win. <laughs> How come you need that chair? Oh wait. <laughs> Scott, I know why. Because Scott's sitting in mine. <laughs> Oh, great. Debbie and I have to have pillows. <laughs> and believe it or not, I haven't had anything to drink yet. <laughs> I don't know if this will be good. What are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for glasses for wine. What do you drink wine out of? Oh, there's some little glasses yeah, okay. kind of up um, These? Yeah. No, okay. no, no. no. Oh. oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, but to make, to roll out 900 some left, so you've got to have some at the knack of it. So what's going on here tonight? Hot game of rummy. I came over to play with all these terrible relatives of mine. I'm zooming Leading in on the score astray. here. Okay, so that means I'm here first. first. Trying to take mine too, aren't you, Debbie? No, <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Oh, I'm fine. Dad, you were just uh, telling a story we need you to repeat here. You were out at Mant. Yep. And what was going on? I won a turkey. How? In the turkey raffle. What's a turkey raffle? You play cards where the winner takes it. It's a turkey. Okay. And you were saying that... that well, I was uh, going to take it home. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. I was taking it Well, wait home. a second now. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. Well, uh, Why did the raffle take so long? Because they were still playing cards. Okay. And so you came home at 6 in the morning. Yep. Well, they put the turkey in the freezer down in the basement. It popped out of my arms. And bang, bang, down the stairs. 
remember. What do you remember about it? About the turkey falling down the stairs. Uh, were you real happy then? No, not very really happy. Okay. So, that's the turkey raffle. Weren't you worried that it would, could have been Millard falling down the steps? I didn't think of that. Too bad he gets it at that. All right, the winner of that game was uh, Gladys Hovey. You've been winning quite a bit here. What do you attribute your luck to? Just what? Luck. What do you attribute your skill or luck to? It just comes naturally. Could it be this wine that's sitting in front of you? Well, it could help. <laughs> okay. well, Eleanor's pretty sharp, too, you know. Yeah, she I was did. invited over and couldn't even win the first game. How about that? Steak. Beer isn't helping. I'm going to have to switch to wine. Stakes are so high here. Mm -hmm. He wants okay. you to tell the story on Mom, the table. When we used now. to play cards yeah. with Ira and Pearl, we could never remember whose deal it was, so Pearl came up with the idea to have a all little trinkets, you know, and we'd pass it oh, on, yeah, pass that on for the next oh, one. That's when you played for idea. money. No, you no. You didn't play for money? No. Playing cards. Oh, I see. Hmm. So I thought it was when you were gambling. Can't gamble all the time. <laughs> Space. So it's actually your deal? Yes. It's yours. Oh, it's oh. Gladys's. Yeah. So, Dad, you're ahead going into the final hand here. What do you think? <laughs> well, it looks like a good summer. <laughs> and Scott will start. And we'll come back to see who the winner was. Oh, okay. Dad. Uh, we're talking who about Bill Janoshik, who used to be a cop here in Grafton, That's and what right. what was it, the story you just said, Dad? They uh, he was sleeping in his car at night or late. They jacked up to one of the hind wheels of their car. <laughs> they drove by. It. He was going to catch the speeding car. He <laughs> 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 couldn't get over. <laughs> that is a true story. <laughs> so and what was the one you told Eleanor about? Oh well, there was a. Uh, Report of a stolen car from Illinois. <laughs> so, early morning hours, this car was driving through Main Drag of Grafton with an Illinois license plate. So, Janoshi stopped it and he asked the people, he said, Well, where are you from, Dad? And they said, From Chicago. Chicago, huh? Why do you have the Illinois plate then? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you were going to tell a story about Lolly Adamson and her dad. Well, she was, <laughs> she was uh, we were over to my aunt, it was my sister. She and Lolly was there, and I don't know, it was a birthday party or something, but she was telling about her dad. He lived in Fordham, but her dad worked for the Sioux Line Railroad. And, you know, and, and uh, he evidently he must have helped load the train with coal on the cars. You know. and, uh, he had passed away, I guess, wasn't it? And she said, you know what, she says, I wonder if Dad is still shoveling coal. She, <laughs> she didn't even get to his funeral. Did, did oh, she oh. really? But then, no. the way she comes, I wonder if he's still shoveling. I wonder shoveling. if he's still shoveling coal. <laughs> <laughs> that is Keep a good way. <laughs> So, and what was the story about the um, fire department here, where they responded on a call and had a little of their own trouble? Yeah, well, they drove right into the fire. One guy came in. He was uh, lit on a little weather. He took the truck out. He drove into the, put the stuff on fire, but he drove into the fire. <laughs> and it was the one of the rural trucks. <laughs> And that was Grafton's fire yeah. department? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I think they got to work for two fingers on that. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Lifta. <laughs> Story night, and Eleanor, you've got a good one to tell about your grandchild, right? My grandchild, Ryan, who just turned seven. And Ryan belongs to Heidi, right? Yes. So he was asking his mother 
one day about babies and he was wondering how to get out of their mom's tummy so Heidi was kind of trying to explain to him why and she said I think he thinks that you poop them out well so shortly after he had to go to the bathroom and she always has to wipe his butt so he called her in there and when she walked into the bathroom, he said, it's a boy. That's the cigars. So that, <laughs> what does that have? Well, one, one time he did the same thing. You know, he was in the bathroom and he calls Heidi to come in and wipe him. And, oh, it was Heidi's birthday. And he said, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, I'm dealing for you, right, Gladys? Yeah. So I cut the deck myself. Eleanor, the game is over. Any last words on playing with cards with this outlaw group? Well, I really came over to win, but I don't know. Don't know if what you guys did to those cards, but... Well, we've kind of practiced too. I guess so, huh? And I still say we need a recount on that bookkeeper. I'm saving it for Vegas when I come to see you there. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, it thanks for the anyway. storytelling too. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Do you want me to tell you that story about the, I think that's cute. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. When my grandson, one of my grandsons was four or five years old. We were living in Alexandria and we were coming up to Grafton and as we were crossing the Red River, the, the Red River, yes, Fargo Moorhead, I said, okay Michael, now you're in North Dakota and he said, I am? And I said, yeah. Oh good, I always did want to visit another planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. Uh, that's a good one. All right.